Moyo, at Gracious Moyo on Facebook and at Gracious underscore Aya on Instagram. Thank you very much to those who have already subscribed and to those who are going to subscribe today, who are checking out this world today, you are highly welcome and do not forget to like this video, subscribe to it and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we are growing this world and do not forget to leave your comments down below. That way I can get to be in contact with you guys and I get to know what you love and what you do not love. Leave any questions and I will get back to you as soon as possibly as I can. So, as you can see by the title of this video, today I get to reveal all the secrets that I have with me as to why I chose Germany, why, what happened, what occurred, why Germany in the first place. So buckle up, fasten your seatbelts, we are flying to Germany today, guys, through my story. So there we go. Okay, you already know my name. But for those who clicked late, okay, my name is Gracious Ayanda once again. I was born in Zimbabwe, raised in Bulawayo. I attended Josiah Chinamano Primary School and I proceeded to my high school at St. James High School in Nyamanjovu, where I completed my O levels. I really loved my sciences, by the way. And then up to a level you guys i don't know whether i wanted to be the jack of all trades or something but i did commercials yes something that i didn't even do at all levels something that i did not have any background of i guess i wanted to find out where i really stand my identity exactly when it comes to the career world so i discovered that when i'm placed in the sciences i do way much better than any other field so proceeding guys, you know how it's like after A level to try and find exactly what you want to do concerning your career, concerning your life. Um, you know, reality starts to kick in and everything. So for me, it was a different story altogether. I knew that I wanted to do my sciences and I didn't want to spend again uh, the rest of my life in the laboratory. Like I found it not so exciting. It was a kind of um, one way monotonous thing for me. So I wanted something that will involve science. I love biology so much, by the way, you guys, I really am in love with biology so much. So I wanted something that will incorporate biology, also something that has to do with people, something that has to do with, you know, social sciences, but not so much of them, just a mixture of everything. And then I discovered maybe nursing is something that I might be interested in. And you know what, you guys, I just took the first step and that was before I even applied. That was before I, ev I was even a student nurse. I remember going to Luverva Clinic near my place, right? And uh, I, I was really so keen about knowing what nursing really embraces, what nursing is all about. And then I found a sister in charge. She was so friendly, she explained that nursing is a science, nursing deals with people, nursing is a social science, nursing is psychology, nursing is an art, nursing is creative, it's so holistic in a way, you have to be there mentally, physically, emotionally. And I thought, okay, this is so like, you better find out about what you want, guys. So after having gathered my information, I went back down, read through the notes that I was writing down as I was being explained to what nursing embraces. I made a decision. I made a decision that I'm going to be a nurse. I told my parents that I've decided to take up nursing as my career and that I'm going to be a good nurse. Thank God they were supportive of that. They saw it as a way that is going to bring me up in many aspects of life. So the application process began, you guys. I applied the Law, UBH, you name it, to mention but a few. There are so many nursing institutes that you may have to apply to when you want to take up nurse training. But the first in institute that um, replied to my, up, uh, to my application was St. A's Brunapec. Yes, you guys, St. Ace Brunapec, I am proudly a product of St. Ace Mission Brunapec. Okay, so I was so happy that I got a place there because my home area is Chelanyemba. Yes, guys, I am Kalanga, I am Kalanga, proudly Kalanga, Bukalanga, Munjani, <laughs> if ever there are Kalangas over that video, over there. 
so you guys i got accepted started first year went by second year i don't know what came into my mind but what i can tell you guys is i'm a person that goes deep into thoughts i take time to gather information i take time to get my thoughts together and try to come up with something that's going to build me uh, in any way that i can so another secret about me reveal yes you guys and then um what happened is i thought to myself it's nice to be at home it's nice to learn at home it's nice to qualify at home but maybe i can expand my expertise in any way possible uh, you did your kindergarten a crash guys kaya primary school kaya high school i was at home and i thought okay why can i not maybe try something like you know you never know until you try so which country may uh, would i love to practice my nursing started to think i thought of the uk i thought of south africa i thought of namibia yeah but it didn't work out you guys in as much as i tried to gather information i thought of canada australia but in as much as i had so much information about one about how one can go about the registration process i didn't know what to do about it and I wasn't that moved to stand up and go and find out more further about the countries that I was having in thought at that time. But then at one point I remembered, I looked around me, okay, and then I discovered, wow, the answer lies in front of me. Guys, my father studied in Germany 30 years ago, like 30 plus years ago, uh, when Germany was West and East Germany, he studied agriculture, he graduated in Germany, and I remember that as I would look through my library, right, I would meet or come across old books that my father used to read, the projects that he used to write in German language, in Deutsch, yes. and I thought, wow, this is interesting, why, why can I not take after him why can i not walk in the footsteps that he walked in guys okay i started to ask him questions he said yes it's a very nice place a very diverse place a very you know sophisticated in a simple way if there's anything like that you guys but there is language language that has to be taken seriously i'm here to tell you guys that Deutsch is not so simple, but it is doable. If you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. Okay? Take it from me. Take it from your sister. I'll never let you go wrong. Yeah? So, you guys, uh, we decided that, fine. Remember, this was still my second year of being an ACE trainee. Fine, we looked for an, um, a teacher, a Deutsch teacher in advance so that when I'm done with my nurse training, I wouldn't have to wait after nurse training. I have to go straight and commence with my uh, Deutsch studies. But then, yeah, my father used to help me in between. He would uh, talk, you know, speak in Deutsch. He would write messages in Deutsch. I would reply so that I wasn't at point zero whenever I have to start with my languages. Fast forward. I graduated or I qualified as a nurse, a registered general nurse, RGN abbreviated in Zimbabwe in September 2014, 2015. That's when I embarked on the journey of doing my German language lessons, which I did in Bulawayo. I also did my examinations for Deutsch in Bulawayo. They were recognized in Harare. If ever you're interested about more, I said, Share my comments, guys. I'm going to be there for you, okay? I've got you. Okay, 2016, that's when I came to Germany. And then, you guys, that is when everything started. The journey, the ups, the downs, the lows, the highs, however you want to call it. But the challenges began. But I had one goal in mind. I wanted to get my diploma recognized. I wanted to get there. I wanted to be a German nurse at the end of the day so 
you may wonder what I was doing during that time, maybe when I was still getting my recognition. I was doing social year. You guys, I volunteered at hospitals so that I get to integrate on my own in the system of how they do their nursing on how they handle patients. Another system, guys, yes, nursing may have the same basics, but each and every country has got its own standards that you have to adjust to. So I thought it was a good opportunity for me to take up the voluntary services um you know i volunteered and at the same time processing my paper so that they get what they get uh, recognized but i will tell you something guys in the process of me trying to get offices to re to recognize my diploma it was a struggle hey i wasn't so much in the language you understand me so some of the things i tried to explain in english boy they would look at me and say what is this girl saying like they're not picking up anything it was so disheartening so weakening at some point but i will tell you something guys that thank god we have google <laughs> you can type in something in english translate it to deutsch yeah we were in good terms then i managed to do that end of 2016 um, yes end of 2016 um, my papers were still being a little bit processed then the beginning of 2017 guys that is when I got my recognition they told me what I'm supposed to do in order for me to get a qualification as a full German nurse so you know guys if you are in a foreign country, wherever you are, you have to take your diploma, your transcripts, they have to be compared against the standards of your country where you did your nursing versus their standards so that they um, determine any deficits or any gaps that you have to fill in in order for you to bridge that gap so that you can be a fully qualified personnel in their country that is what happened to me and it took something like six months before i got my full recognition so i had to do theory tests i had to do practical tests mind you this time we're not doing it in english we're doing it in deutsch imagine the amount of effort that you have to put in there yes guys you have to put in the work I did my Deutsch lessons. I took them seriously. I remember the sleepless nights only for a while. Did they pay off? Yes, they did, you guys. Amazing! If you work hard, definitely you're going to get your pay off. The law of diminishing returns, right? So, long story short, guys, I did my practicals. I passed. Thank wow. God I passed. Yes, through hard work. Am I happy about what I did? Yes, I am happy. Am I happy about the risks and the challenges that came to me and that I embraced? Yes, I am happy. Did I have any relatives around me to help me in Germany? Did I know anyone? What's the answer to that? What do you think? So much happy that I got to explore many departments after getting my recognition as a nurse in Germany. Um, and then another thing is guys do not let anyone put you down if you want to do something do it if you want to do something guys get in connection with the right people ask the right people don't listen to the crowds don't listen to the masses listen to your heart listen to your spirit what it's telling you Pray about it if you are a prayer like me and ask God for guidance is surely going to give you the correct answer and the people that you have to stay in connection with in order for you to get to be where you want to be. So uh, guys, I think I'll leave it here for now. Next time you meet me, we're getting into the juice, we're getting deeper and deeper into what exactly is happening, what you need to know and what you should expect when you want to come and settle in this country, Germany, where I am right now. Until next time, guys, I love you. It's time for me to love and to leave you. Until next time, bye.